Irish, my bad. Kira, I bring you solidarity from Global Peace and Justice in New Zealand. We organised the big marches over there, and these marches in solidarity with the Egyptian people were happening all over the world. They really inspired young people who want change in our own countries, be it in Australia, in America, Canada, or whatever. The Egyptian revolution is the cutting edge of what needs to happen in this world. We need an end to the rule of the elites, and I bring you solidarity, not only from uh, Global uh, Peace and Justice, but also from my union as well, from the Unite Union uh, of Low Paid Workers. Because there was a reason those bloggers call themselves the April 6 Coalition. Remember the bloggers who, who called for um, justice for Khalid Saeed and called for people to come out on the streets January 25th. They named themselves April 6 after April 6, 2008 in Mahala, where the low paid workers stood up against Mubarak's regime, stood up against 20,000 riot police that tried to invade the textile factories and beat them back. And we can beat them back because we've got a power that's bigger than any army, any police force, any secret, uh, any secret police. And that's the power of the workers. And when the workers strike, like they did in Tunisia, and the people of Egypt saw the workers strike in Tunisia and bring down a dictator, then that is our power that is still there in Mahala. It's still there in Islamia. It's still there in Port Said. They can't govern parts of Egypt. They can't govern every factory with guns and secret police. And just like they waited their time, the workers of Egypt will wait for their time to strike back. I want to say some words about this animal inside here, this criminal inside here. When I heard him speak on the radio two hours ago, my Irish blood boiled because the words he used about the people who were shot down on the streets of Cairo were the same words that the British establishment and the parachute regiment used about the people they shot dead on the streets of Derry in Bloody Sunday. They were all terrorists. They were all armed with guns. They were shooting at us. No, they weren't. This was a massacre of people, of women, of children. They're shooting at the moment at people inside the mosque in Cairo. And this animal should be kicked out. I agree completely. This embassy should be shut because it represents nothing but a house of murderers and traitors to the Egyptian people. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I don't know what I want to say now, but I'm very, very sad as well. There are two emotions going through all the people who stood with the Egyptian people and will continue to stand with you. One of anger and of rage, but one of deep sadness that this has to be the price uh, for a revolution. There is a reason why the flag is red. It remembers the blood, it remembers the people, the martyrs who have made the ultimate sacrifice. And indeed in Egypt, we see that many of the flags that people fly are the pictures, the pictures of the martyr. They have given 700, maybe 3,000 new martyrs. But that will mean that the revolution is burned into the hearts of people. I know you are a proud people. The Egyptian people will never accept tyranny, dictatorship. And you will continue your struggle. You will wait till the time is right. But use the power of the working class. Use the power to shut down every factory, shut down every airport, every railway. That's the way to break the back of the military once and for all and finish the job of the revolution. Why will the revolution never finish? Because people are starving. Because people have no work. Because the price of food and petrol has doubled. Because the IMF rule Egypt, just like they rule this country. One world, one struggle and solidarity with the Egyptian revolution. Oh, God.